My name is Jeff Broder. Um, I'm a contractor with IB3 Global Solutions, and we support a Department of State initiative in Iraq that's recently expanded to Libya. Um, our job is, my job is to lead a CBRN team into former ISIS occupied territories. Um, we identify um, uncharacterized liquid um, hazardous material or toxic chemicals um, and define the size and the scope. That means that I have to do a, we have to do a toxic chemical survey. Um, and that requires us to have the capability on site of uh, presumptive ID. Um, once, once we do our survey um, and we've defined the size and the scope, then our project has us in a pause status until we collaborate, in this case with the government of Iraq, on who is going to remediate or if we're going to um, keep a family or a business from repopulating. Um, the Rigaku Rescue, um, I've used it personally for uh, two rotations this calendar year, 2018. Um, we're going um, back to, uh, to Iraq in November for another uh, four-week rotation. Um, it, it is um, probably one of the, the easiest uh, and responsive instruments that I've worked with um, in a number of years. So um, my background is um, 30 years in the Army, retired in 2014. Um, I was the assistant commandant to the U.S. Army's Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear School. So I've done CBRN as a soldier for 30 years. Now I'm doing it for four years as a civilian contractor. And it is by far one of the easiest instruments um, to use. It, it probably took us 20 minutes, I say us, there's three people on our team, to play with it. Really, it, it wasn't really learning. Um, the learning curve wasn't very steep. Um, we played with it for about 20 minutes. We practiced, uh, we used it in our rehearsals, um, and it's, it's everything that we need.